star or y connection and delta connection are the two different methods which are used for connecting three phase system in this video we will learn in detail about star and delta connection we will also know voltage and current relationship in both the connection and where these connections are used so if you want to get the details you need to watch the video We have already seen the comparison between single phase and three phase power. I strongly recommend you to watch that video. You will get the link for that video down in the description. In this video, we will also have a look at power transmitted by these two types of connection and to get that stick to the video. Connection shown in this figure is one of the way to connect three phase generator to the load. As you can see, this connection requires six wires to connect. The three single phase circuits shown in this figure are electrically independent. But if you observe the image carefully, you will find that we can combine the three written conductors together to form a single written conductor. By doing this, we have saved cost of two conductors as the number of conductor are reduced from six to four. And that's a great saving. Now, this common return conductor is called as neutral conductor. It carries some of three currents that is IA plus IB plus IC. At first, many of the people will think that the conductor required for neutral should be three times in the size than the other three conductors as it is carrying some of all the three return currents. But as we know, current of the three phases are out of phase by 120 degree from each other and if we draw a waveform for this current it will look like this now if you observe the diagram carefully you will find that the sum of written currents is zero at every instance for example at instance corresponding to 240 degree ic is equals to maximum ib and ia is equals to minus 0.5 i max so if we add this written currents we'll get sum equals to zero and this is true for every instance we can therefore remove the neutral conductor without affecting the voltage or current in the circuit so we have reduced the number of conductor from six which was the initial stage to three 50 percent saving in conductor cost however the load shown in the circuit must be identical if you want to remove the neutral conductor. If your load is not identical then removing neutral conductor can cause unequal voltages across the load. So in an ideal situation or in the situation where load is equal, current flowing through neutral conductor is always zero. And this is a very commonly used question in technical interview. The conditions where load is not equal, a neutral must be provided. You might have heard people saying 3.5 core cable, that 0.5 core is your neutral conductor. The circuit shown in the figure is called as three phase three wire system. The generator and the load are said to be connected in Y as it resembles the letter Y or some people also called it as a star. The figure shown is called as three phase four wire system. The neutral conductor can be of similar size or maybe slightly smaller than the other conductors. Three phase four wire system is widely used to supply power to commercial and industrial customers. Now when we talk about star connected three phase system, there come two concepts. Line to line voltage and line to neutral voltage. The voltage between A and N is called as line to neutral voltage. Similarly, a voltage between A and B is called as line to line voltage. Relationship between these voltages as well as the current changes with the type of connection. So it is important to understand this relationship for different connections. In case of star connected system, line to line current are equal to line to neutral current. But in case of voltage, it is different. Consider the winding shown in this figure which is connected in star as you can see the conductors are placed 120 degree apart from each other so if you apply kirchhoff's voltage law to this circuit and by doing some mathematics 
you will find that the line to line voltage is therefore root 3 times the line to neutral voltage. So you can write EL which represent the value of line voltage equals to root 3 times ELN which is nothing but the line to neutral voltage. One of the other way to connect three phase system is called as delta connection. The connection is so named because it resembles the Greek letter delta. Let's have a look at the voltage and current relationship in delta connection. Now in case of delta connection voltage across each connection is same as line voltage. But in case of current, current across each element is different than the line current. If you apply the Kirchhoff's law and do some math, you will find that the line current is root 3 times greater than the current in each branch of delta connected system. Generally, star connection is used where you need a neutral and two separate voltages like our distribution system. Delta connection is generally preferred where neutral conductor is not needed like our transmission of high voltage power. Also, delta connection is preferred where third harmonics needs to be controlled. Star and delta connection are almost used everywhere when we talk about three phase system. You will generally find three phase transformer connected in different combinations of star and delta connection. For example, star star connected transformer is generally used as an auto transformer. Delta delta connected transformer is generally used for high voltage transmission and delta star connected transformer is generally used as a distribution transformer. Now as we have studied the star and delta connection a question can pop up. Power transferred by star connection and power transferred by delta connection is same or different? So let's find that out. Consider the star connected winding first. Apparent power transferred by a single phase is given by this formula. This is the power transferred by a single phase. To calculate the power transferred by three phase, we can multiply this equation by three. So the result will be this. Similarly, apparent power transferred by a single phase of delta connection is given by this formula. Multiply this equation by three to calculate the power transferred by three phase. And you will get the same result as star connection. And this proves power transmitted by both the connection is same. So let's summarize this video. Three phase system can be connected in two different styles, star or delta. In star connection, line to line current is equal to line to neutral current, but line to line voltage is root three times the line to neutral voltage. In delta connection, voltage across each element is equal to line voltage, but line current is root three times the current flowing through each element. And the last one, power transmitted by both the connection is same. So guys, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. But till then, watching, learning.